I'm Wesley Smith, and my job at the ACLJ is the Senior Advisor for Military Affairs. I'm a retired colonel from the United States Army, where I served 26 years, nine as a reserve officer, and 17 on active duty. My role as colonel was different than how I started out as a second lieutenant. I was commissioned in 1987 as a second lieutenant with the aspirations to become a chaplain. And then once I was commissioned as a chaplain, I finished my seminary degree, I was uh, promoted to first lieutenant. And then over the next 25, 26 years, you gradually increase in rank. I uh, served at the battalion and brigade level, served as a religious advisor for uh, Army Central Command as a major and a lieutenant colonel. As a colonel, I was assigned to the Pentagon and uh, was in charge of redoing the casualty notification system for all of the entire Army, and then was assigned as a senior ranking chaplain at Dover Air Force Base, where I worked for three years in casualty affairs. I came to work at the ACLJ not too long after I retired from the Army, about a year and a half, two years, and uh, decided that it, since I was going to work for the American Center for Law and Justice, I needed to have some additional training. I had a master's degree with a focus in counseling, of course, my bachelor's degree, and I had a doctorate where I focused in communications. But when I began working at ACLJ, I actually enrolled and went back to law school to receive my master's in law. And in the program that I went to, you could get your, your law degree and you, had, you could have a focus. And my focus was national security. For me, the most rewarding thing about working here is the feeling that you're making a difference. Being an Episcopal priest and being involved in, in the chaplain corps and being a parish priest in local churches for all of my life. When I first started, I thought this is a big law firm and a nonprofit, uh, excellent reputation, but will it still be fulfilling for me as, as a member of the clergy? And I found that it has been. This organization touches the lives of people, it changes lives. And so being a part of the team here makes me feel like I'm still able to make a difference, whether it's something I said, uh, whether it was a radio broadcast or something that I write for the website.